Okay. Earlier, we got to take a little look into the daily life of musician Alika Moon. Now, Mikey takes us behind the music. Yeah, in studio for the creative process, a studio session you get to see right here on Hyena Jam with Alika Moon. Alika Moon has been singing his heart out since he was eight years old. His pop inspired local music has been getting a lot of attention. We are learning a lot about him and his music here on Living 808's Haina Jam. All right, we are at Blueprint Studios with Alika Moon. Now, Alika, this is where you create all of your music. Tell me about your process. Do you start with music? Do you start with words? Do you have, do you have a story? What is it? They really just start with the lyrics. And I get inspired through anything that I go through in life, whether it's any trials that I face, whether it's anything that's big that impacts me, or whether it's just something that I'm overwhelmed with, whether it's love or anything at all. Anytime that I'm overwhelmed with anything, some of the songs that I write, it really just gets put down into notes, um, and, and it takes like 10 minutes. I'm not in the music industry, but I want to say 10 minutes is actually super fast. Now, who are your big influences in the music industry? I've been super inspired by Whitney Houston, Luther Vandross, and Natalie King Cole. Really? Yeah. Okay, and you're only 24. Yeah. I mean, oldies but goodies, so, right? So, my mom had me when she was 41 years old, and that's all I could listen to. I could only listen to, to oldies. Now, is that your big influence of music? What styles of music influences you? It really is, uh, it's soulful music. Uh, soulful music as well as uh, pop music and some of the big names that really uh, touch me to be inspired is Sam Smith, John Legend, uh, Ed Sheeran. All right, so what themes do you like to sing about? I like to sing about love and the thing that I like to sing about love is just the unconditional love. Another theme that I talk about is loss um, and really what it is is it's, it's, a, it's a clear vision through my eyes. You know, when you lose something, I have hope. And what I hope to bring to the world with my music is whether you lose something, whether it's a, a loved one, um, I hope to bring my hope that I have, the, f the hope that my family has and the fight that my family has. I obviously can tell that you love your music. I mean, with heartache always comes some best parts. What is the best part of making music? The best part about making music is I, f I feel like I'm at home now. And I, I know so much more and I love so much more about music now than I thought I ever would. You know, um, stepping back into the music industry with Kopenna, um, he has been such a, a mentor. Uh, he has grown to be such a best friend and I wouldn't want to rock it beside anybody else because he truly loves music just for the love of music and that's what I want to do and I want to continue to share music for the love of it and I just want to touch people. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Hena is a part of Cup Hena, which is the local band that's obviously everybody loves in Hawaii. Now, okay, give us a little inside scoop. What are you guys working on now? Right now, we're actually working on my debut single entitled Falsetto. Um, and Falsetto, it, it is basically my story in a nutshell, and it is my song to Capena. He is the reason why I am living in falsetto and the reason why I am not choking upon my words or mumbling just to be heard. And yeah, that's pretty awesome. And I know a lot of people don't know this, but Capena, Penna is actually making you their protege, right? It's such a blessing. You know, every time that I speak it into existence, I, I pinch myself. I, I am his studio's first artist, and it's just the biggest blessing in my life. And It is a huge blessing, and especially to be coming out with a single produced by them. Now, okay, I gotta ask you, can you sing it for us in studio? Definitely. All right, yeah. man. I'm Let's excited. Yeah. And you'll be hearing it first here yep. on Living 808 in just a bit. He's giving us a Living 808 exclusive. Sweet! Yeah. So I know everybody is tuning in because yeah, he, he's so talented. He's tweet, I know he's tweeting it out, right? Yeah. Oh. And you Hi, saw Lika. him at Don Ho a couple yes. years ago. Yes. So. Oh. Yeah, a few years. 2005, he said won the Grand Championship. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, well, he's so gonna be talented. Here just, yeah, he's going to be here just a bit to sing yeah. it for us. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, <laughs> a little earlier, we asked a question. What was it? We did. All right.